Scorpios, hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I am Jade, this is Star Moon and Sun Tarot. Consider subscribing if you have not yet already. I'm going to clear the resonance. And once more. Scorpios, okay, welcome to your urgent love messages reading. Whether you have Scorpio in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, there could be some urgent love messages, okay, in this reading for you. Um, this may not resonate for every Scorpio, though, okay, so take what resonates, leave what does not, check your other placements, etc. If you're interested in any of the decks I'm using, I will list them all in the description box below, although I do combine them in interesting Franken decks and whatnot. Um, I'll list them all individually. What else? Oh, if you'd like a personal reading with me, and thank you to those of you who have purchased them recently, okay? Um, that information can be found in the description box below, my email, as well as my other social media stuffs, okay? And a huge thank you to all my new subscribers. You guys are amazing. Um, all right, let's get into it for Scorpio. Angel Spirits Guides. I'm going to shuffle these. I mean, I'm always shuffling, but show me what I need to see for the highest guide for Scorpio, please. Urgent love messages. I'm going to get a few out. I'd like to get a little storyline with these as well. Seduction. Allure, desire. Possibly manipulation. Hold on, though. <laughs> Let's not jump the gun, because seduction can also be a very good thing. The past of prison. Bitterness, grudge, refusal to let go of something. And hope. Anticipation. Bright prospects. A wish. I want to see a little bit more. Wow. The monster within, an internal struggle, personal challenges. All right, this could have to do with some type. Now, it doesn't have to <laughs> be you guys. This could also be a cross watcher. Hold on. I just want to get a little bit more witness to know, personal evidence to speak out. Tempting offer has a high price. Wow. And the hunter. Okay. I want a couple more. So there is something desired you're, and you're refusing to let go of it. You've got hope. All right. You're struggling because you want to possibly reach out or uh, prove why this is, you know, this is an attempting offer has a high price. You might want to give an offer. Um, there is a hunter here as well. This also could be, <laughs> this could be you guys. You might be um, not hunting in a negative way, but hold on. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, there's some type of sweet memories here. And we have stifled, bored, and stuck. And then... Immortal also flew out. Consuming family, pressure of peers. I just wanted to look for... Okay. So we've got call for help. Reach out, need for backup. I'm noticing... There... <laughs> There could definitely be uh, somebody, a past person, that um, wants back in, all right? Or you might want back in with them. They're, they're kind of stuck and possibly in a family situation, okay? That's why a tempting offer at a high price. This could be just something somebody's wishing about, 
Um, but the, see, there also can be some type of manipulation here. Um, somebody struggling to want to prove something or show something or uh, it, it feels a little uh, malicious. And then with the hunter, the aggressor, this could be multiple party situation for sure, Scorpio. All right, so it's it's kind of hard for me to see what's you and what's not. So don't jump all over me, <laughs> please, in the comments and be like, "That's not me." You know, I doing the best I can here, but uh, that seems really odd. Some of that strength. Okay, you guys are gaining your strength. Show me for Scorpio, please. Make it clear for their highest good. What do they need to know? Seeking, yeah. Yeah, seeking the illusion. There's something coming in about your good luck here. You have good luck, and there's nature. Hold on, something about your nature. Okay, your nature, your hidden talents. And we have caution. Why caution? Because there's no communication. Caution with communication. Power. Foresight. Right, we got success and synergy on the bottom, or sweetness and synergy. Whatever it has possessed me to look at the bottom for you guys. I haven't been doing that in the readings, but not all of the bottoms anyway. None of these decks of the regular tarot, yes, but hmm. Okay, some of you have some type of like talent where you are empathic or intuitive. Um, you're good with communication and foresight. Someone's being cautious. We're going to see why. We're going to see why here. All right. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio, please. What is the main theme of this? Just one card. Main theme, main energy. Page of coins. So And wow. Look what's on the bottom. Death, Scorpio. <sighs> Interesting. Alright, so this is some type of communication offer like in the 3D world here. Let's see. Hmm. We saw that communication in the cards over there, right? Caution with communication. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio, please. Okay. The Hermit coming up sideways. <laughs> Not entirely reversed, so going within, looking within. Facing the shadows, the darkness. Virgo energy. Wow. Judgment. Timing. There's something about timing. And... Yeah. Karma. Fate. Could definitely be a court situation as well. Anymore. Four coins. Somebody's holding on. What else for Scorpio? Three of Cups. I want to get a whole little spread out before I start getting too deep into every card here. Ten of Coins. Situation here. Wow, 
Now, two of cups clearly in the reverse. Okay. Strength. Eight of swords. Show me one more, please. King of coins. Queen of coins is on the bottom. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. All right. So preliminarily, okay, the hermit is Virgo. Okay, judgment. And the four of coins. Then we've got the three of cups, ten of coins, two of cups in the reverse. Strength. Eight of Swords, King of Coins. And then we saw the Queen was at the bottom. Um, yeah, this could definitely involve a, like a, a separation or a, or a change, a third party dynamic. I want to clarify though before I get too, too into it right now because, wow. There's a lot of Major Arcana here too. I mean, not a lot, a lot, but we got the Hermit and the Judgment and then Strength down here. It's just striking me as big changes and big. Okay. Show me more about this hermit. Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is, has, comes bearing a solid offer, takes a long time, is sure of it though and the star. So someone has gone within here, Scorpio, this could be your energy or somebody around you, okay? Um, someone has gone within and they know either where they want to bring their pentacle or who they want to bring it to, where their hopes and wishes lie. Um, hmm. Show me the judgment. The Hermit. You could definitely be dealing with a Virgo. Um, there could definitely be a Virgo in the mix here for you. Four Swords Reverse. This is happening now. Like, show this Four of Coins. Three of Wands. Show me one more. Well, that was two more, but I think it's relevant. Two of Pentacles. Magician. So, yeah, somebody was holding on or holding back, but they're, they're going forth now, getting their stability, manifesting the snake is shedding its skin here I'm always drawn to that when that card comes out show me this three of cups What's this three of cups about eight of pentacles and the wheel of fortune yeah um okay so and seven of cups. Yeah, so someone's putting the work in on making the wheel turn. And uh, they're, they're going to have options here. There could have been a third party situation. Um, or it doesn't have to be, though. The three of cups is also, you know, you could be going out, meeting up with your friends. You're working on, you know getting out and meeting new people and seeing your options here and having a good time. See these three women. See them. And this is putting in work, right? Making the wheel turn. Seven of Cups is options. So then ten of coins. So, But that's a family situation. Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Yeah, definitely. There's what the heck? Okay, hold on. 
yeah, they were stuck in a family situation, but now they're walking away. Um, show me two of cups reversed. I feel like I'm reading for, yeah, queen of cups. There you are, Scorpio. You're like, no, this is not for me, king of swords. You're gonna, you're cutting it off. Oh, is this what they were doing? Or... See, this is odd, because for some of you, this is what the person was doing. They were going out and looking at their options um, while they were in a family situation, and you found out. Um, for others of you, this could be somebody you met, and you didn't realize they were stuck in a family situation, but now you're cutting them off, even if, even if they walk away. Give me the strength. It's the strength. Knight of Swords. Hold on. Fast moving. Yeah, somebody was, like, bored to tears, not happy. They they sat in their energy, figured out what they want, and now they've got the strength to move. Ten of Pentacles. Show me this Eight of Swords. Temperance. It's guidance and patience. And the High Priestess, using your intuition and the moon. All right. So, you feel like somebody has secrets. Strength again. There could be a Leo involved. Show me about this King of Coins. Seven of Pentacles. Page of Cups. Yeah, you might be trying to be strong and put the work in here, or somebody was, or this Leo was trying to put the work in, but again, there's just, there's all this, there was like drinking and going out, two of swords, yeah, it's, 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 it's made like a, this crossroads energy now, where someone's going to have to choose. Five of Cups. There's a lot of regret and sadness, but again, there's two cups upright here, right? Wow, judgment on the bottom. This is big. It's a big decision. I'm not seeing so much like Four of Wands and the Hierophant, so I, I don't know that this was necessarily a marriage situation. But it looks like with the Ten of Pentacles coming up twice, there was definitely uh, some type of family uh, situation or stability here. Um, and, and there's a crossroads uh, due to regret. Wow. Let's see what the advice is. What's the advice for Scorpios, please? Or, well, yeah, this is advice. Oh, love. Listen to your heart. Embrace what makes you happy. There are one million reasons to love. Whoops. Awareness. Pay attention to the subtleties. Look with new eyes. So you might need to become aware of some type of love situation here. And it's going to take action. Or some type of action is needing to be taken. All right. We also have creation and elegance flew out together with humor on the bottom. Laugh at yourself. Lighten your heart. Let nothing steal your happiness. Um, elegance and creation. This is important. Um, these are coming out together. Uh, remember your thoughts shape your future. Choose your words uh, carefully because your words create today. Your choices become your reality. All right, make sure you're being elegant in everything you create. 
when you take this action and keep a light sense of humor okay so that is uh, what I have for you Scorpio for your urgent love messages I'm sorry it got a little confusing but when it's like multiple multiple parties and energies on two sides of a situation which I feel is kind of might be the case um, it can be a little confusing as to what energy belongs to whom okay so I do apologize for that Please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more. The more you subscribe and watch also, the more I'm likely to pick up on your energy more clearly, okay? So thank you so much, and I hope to see you guys next week. Love to you all. Bye.